I want to start laying out to where this is going to be placed on here. I know this piece itself is 32 inches by 12 and a quarter. So what I want to do first is mark the center point on this, which is of course 16 inches. Strike a line. Now it's going to be 12 and a quarter inches, so I need to go 6 and an eighth inch over. Again, strike a line down the side. I also know that this is the exact center of my, my table, since this is where I've made all the, the, the triangle points from. So I need to do is mark 16 inches out from each direction. So 14, that would be 20. 4, that would be 20 on that side. This piece, which I want to do is extend the center out first. I have to come out a little bit more because of the. Now that I've got the piece marked out on the center line of the board and here, I know where the edge of this board will be. Just going to mark that on the piece. Just want to double check to make sure that those are parallel. There they are. So I'm good. The next thing will be to mount the slides onto the tabletop. I'm ready to start attaching the, the extensions to the tabletop itself. Um, I put the two pieces back together. I've extended the lines on both sides. And I've also created this right here. And what this is, these are three inches wide. I know I've got 32 inches from the outside of the under support. Taking away those two, that gives me 26 inches. I've created this template here. Um, it's very important that these slides are exactly parallel to one another or that the <coughs> equalizer portion will not work right. Um, so what I've done is I've put center line on here. I'm going to mark it up the center line on here. And on the tabletop itself. Make sure that's all aligned. I'm going to temporarily pin this in place with some brads. It's important that that does not move around. Now I can take the slides and mark the center line on those also. There's a left side and a right side. Obviously, you don't know which is the left side and the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting both of the uh, manufacturer's marking on one side or the other facing the same way. So, so I'll push it up against there. That gives me a flat spot. I'm going to check it against the lines I described earlier. That's real good.
and that's real good also. Another thing the manufacturer recommends is to hold these open about two inches. So these are 26 inch slides. Uh, my leaf is 20 inches wide. I want to take these and open them up about an inch a piece. The reason for that is when the slide itself closes, you want to make sure that it closes all the way on the table and there's no gap there. So an inch, put it back in place, that one's good, now I'll just do the other side. Well I've got the extension slides attached to the tabletop now, I'm getting ready to counter bore the large piece of ash which is going to be attached to the pedestal which is the rest of the support system underneath and I'll be ready to uh, temporarily attach that to the, to the pedestal and, and make sure everything works right. I'm going to attach the uh, piece to the underside of this table. Again, I've got the center lines marked on here. I've also extended the center line on both of the extensions. So I just need to line this up on both sides. Make sure it's flush with each one of those ends. I've got some self-tapping screws on the down end. Secure the top to the uh, support system. Top back on the base. Um, it came out very nice. I still have a lot of work to do yet. I have to flatten the top. I have to finish the leaf. I've got to put the pins in. And of course, I have to finish it. I've also got to put a decorative edge on here and a piece of molding around the bottom here. But uh, the tabletop isn't secured to the base, but as you can see, this slides very nicely. Uh, this will be about how wide the table is once it opens up. I hope we'll be able to get six people around here pretty easy. I'm glad I made the legs a little bit longer because the table isn't going to be tippy at all uh, on either end. So all in all, this is, came out very nice. Well, I waited until the table was together like this to flatten the, uh, the, the seam here. There is a little bit of inconsistency here and here on this edge. But again, I want to make sure the table is together first before I made the seam. I'll make this flat. I'll make the leaf, I'll put the leaf in there, and then uh, I'll make sure the leaf gets flattened to those sides, and then uh, sand the whole thing. So I'm just going to use my card scraper for this. Um, again, nice sharp, sharp card scraper is your best friend. This won't take long. ready to drill the uh, holes for the alignment pins and this is what I'm using. One will go on one side, one will go on the other side and they just fit into each other, into each other like that. They use an 8 millimeter drill bit. Um, I made a, a quick jig here and basically what it is, it's just a piece of hardwood with a hole drilled in it. Before I drilled the hole I made sure to mark the center line all the way through and uh, this will just simply um, butt up to the table edge I can check the alignment right there with through this uh, window and drill the hole at a certain depth and then insert these and that portion will be done. I'm ready to start drilling the holes for the alignment pins and what I've done is I've marked out the locations, I've transferred to both sides and of course marked a straight line going uh, in either direction. This is again the jig I'm going to use. I've basically just got a, a straight line on here. This will get lined up 
to the mark I made. I'm just going to clamp this down and make sure it stays in place. These shelf pins, the alignments aren't going to be very forgiving, so this has got to be pretty exact. I should mention also, I've got a drill with a tape flag on it. And all I want to do is drill to that depth. make these permanent quite yet simply because I need to do some sanding I can pull these out no, maybe not that one I'm not gonna put that one in there yet I know I can pull out the ones with the pins in it and those will line up like that and then keep the tabletop aligned so just need to go down the line and put them all in now that I've got the top attached to the base I'm going to start working on the leaf. There's a couple things I need to do to this. Um, let me show you what I'm doing. As you can see, I've got a leaf that's about 20 inches wide. There is a little bit of sapwood here, uh, but I want to keep the board this width, so I don't want to cut all that off. I'm going to cut probably a little bit off, but I want to keep as much of the wood as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, an alcohol soluble dye. I'm just going to put a little bit, a, a little bit of a, uh, dye on there to blend that in. Now I've already had a test piece going and I've uh, made sure as much as possible that this is going to match. If it doesn't work, I can always cut this off and the leaf will be a little bit short of where I wanted it to anyways. All right, that worked pretty well. Um, actually, came out very good. Uh, if I have to apply more of this, I'll set this aside later. But probably will after I cut the edge a little bit to uh, true this up. But uh, that came out very good. I've jointed one edge and I've ripped this down and then joined the other edge and I'm getting ready to make sure that I have that nice and tight joints. Again, I'm just going to set it in here and close it the way it normally would. All right, nice tight seams all the way through this. So that's that's very good. This side I've got maybe a, a, I could slip a tiny piece of paper in there, but again, when this is expanded and being used to seat six people uh, there's probably going to be a tablecloth on it so I'm okay with just that little bit there on this end so well, I'm going to use my large table saw sled to cut the ends off of this um, I've got to put it up firmly against this it is a little bit heavy on that one side but it's not heavy enough to where I've got to worry about it um, I'm just kind of eyeballing down that line for right now I'm going to cut the other side a little bit strong so after I put it back in place I'll butt up one edge and then clean that up so it's nice and parallel all the way.
back in uh, after I trimmed the sides. I flushed up one side of the the table with the ruler. I just basically laid it out. Again, use my fingers to turn this nice and flat in here. I put a couple clamps in place to uh, hold this all together. I'm just a little bit proud here, maybe a 32nd of an inch. So I'm just going to work it with some hand tools and get this nice and flat. sure that this is still nice and flat. So I'm just going to take my ruler, put it up against there, and just as I figured, I'm, I'm, I'm a little proud right here. So I just need to mark that. And that's, that's about, again, about a 30 second inch. I'll just continue to work down to that line until I'm straight all the way across. Now that I've got the uh, edge pared down to exactly even, I'm not the world's greatest with hand tools. I can hold my own, I guess. But I want to make sure that this edge is perpendicular to this. Uh, during the block planing process, I might have wandered a little bit, and I, I want to make sure that that's perfectly level because when I route the edge on this, it's going to be very important that that is flat and perpendicular because it will show on the top. I'm going to be using a round over bit. So I'm just going to take my square, check for any high spots, mark them on the top of the table. In the front, and the high spot right here. Goes from about here. I'm going to find my mark again. I love Walmart, but I hate marking with pencils. There it is. To about there. It's about halfway up. If I just to tilt my blade a little bit on the block plane and get rid of this high spot. Sure that I have an under bubble in as well because that could be catastrophic. I can't put those pieces that those shavings back on. screwed up and square. Um, I want to go back to the marks I made before where the uh, alignment pins are. I want to be very careful with this. And make sure I'm in the same spot. And then I need to drill holes in the leaf also for those alignment pins. Well, I've extended all the lines where I want to drill the holes for the alignment pins. I'm going to use the same jig as before. I'm just going to line up the mark on the leaf, clamp it down, and again, I've got a tape flag on my drill bit to tell me how far I need to go, and I'm just going to drill these out. Way 
believe this thing has to go together. Uh, I've got to do something I really didn't want to do, and I'm going to have to do it anyways. Um, I'm going to need to put the alignment pins in both the tabletop and the leaf and put it all together again. The reason for this is I've got this side and this side level to each other, and I've got a tight seam. I want to put the tabletop in there, or the, uh, the leaf in there, put the alignment pins in and put it together because I need, to, before I do anything else, I need to level that leaf to this. Um, it's very important that when I do this, I, I, I don't take away any wood from the tabletop, just the leaf. Hopefully this is going to turn out. Well, uh, again, I've got this ready to uh, have the pins put in. What I've done first is I have uh, removed the mill marks, machine marks from the edges, and I gave it a, a 180 and then a 220 sand. Because uh, it's going to be very hard to, to finish these later when the, the pins are in. Um, again, these are the alignment pins. Basically, I've got a pin and uh, a little ferrule, and that goes in there. I need to, I'm going to lay these out first because once I put them in, I'm not going to be able to take them out. I thought I would be, but I can't. So I'm going to put a little bit of epoxy on them and stick them in there and hold them in place, and they're not coming out again. So I just want to make sure that I put pin and a collar in the right places, and then I'm going to mark those to make sure I don't screw up later, uh, which, which is very easy to do. Now, I've done it <laughs> many times during this project, screw up things that I've had to go back and fix, but again, we all do that, so I'm just going to do the other side and mix up some epoxy and stick those in. Got some epoxy stirred up. And it's sitting in a good spot, stable, so I don't drop it. I'm going to apply just a little bit of glue with the nail just to the bottom portion of this. These are a very tight fit to begin with. I'm just going to put it right in the base. Don't want any squeeze on, on these at all. So, see it just right. Still got a little bit of squeeze out there. Not much. I'll just continue around. Well, I've got the alignment pins installed now, and uh, the tabletop installed on the base as before. So, it sounds like it worked. I open and close both sides, both sides of the leaf. piece right along the bottom here for the uh, the rail of the leaf. 